Hi there, I'm Richard, and today we're going to be looking at the history of New Lanark. Located a mile from Lanark and just off the River Clyde, New Lanark is one of the county's most important historical sites. The mills were first established in 1786 by industrialist David Dale, but it was under the management of Robert Owen that New Lanark truly prospered. Yes, well, Robert Owen had um, quite radical ideas um, for the sort of uh, early, 80, early 19th century, um, and these related to the working classes um, and children. He believed that everybody had the right to a better quality of life uh, in terms of living and working conditions, and he also believed that everybody had the right to an education um, because he believed that you were character was formed for was formed for you, not by you. Around two and a half thousand people stayed in New Lanark during Owen's time, five hundred of which who were children. As much as Robert Owen cared about the welfare of adults, he also cared deeply about the welfare of infants and children as well. In eighteen seventeen Owen opened the world's first infant school, which he built specifically for the children of New Lanark. He banned all children under the age of 10 from working in the mills and made it the rule of New Lanark that all infants from the age of 3 should attend this school. The school was a result of Owen's belief that everyone had the right to a good education. Well, as I said before, Robert Owen had um, quite um, distinct and radical ideas um, about education, and he believed that everybody had the right to an education. Um, he built the School for Children, uh, which, was, which was opened in 1817, and um, predominantly for, for children to start school um, any time from, they came to school from three, began formal education at five, and um, he banned all children under 10 working in his mills um, and he believed that they should have a structured education um, and so children who would have previously worked in the mills came to school here. The vast amount of machinery in the cotton mills was powered solely by the waters of the River Clyde. The mills thrived greatly under Owen's ownership and New Lanark's success was celebrated throughout Europe. Many foreign royals and top politicians who visited the mills were surprised to find a healthy working environment, a happy workforce and a money-spinning business all under the same roof. Owen's philosophy was contrary to the thinking of his time, but he was able to demonstrate that industrial business did not need to treat the workforce poorly in order to be profitable. If you're looking for a place to stay while you're here, there's an excellent old mill hotel. Originally converted from a mill, this hotel has 38 furnished rooms and 8 self-catering waterhouse cottages. In addition to everything else that New Lanark has to offer, you can also take in some of the stunning scenery from atop the new roof garden. Admission to a New Lanark costs £6.95 for adults and £5.95 for children or seniors, while group and family packages are available. I don't know about you, but I've had an absolutely smashing day here at New Lanark World Heritage Village. I'm Richard Mooney, thanks for watching.